All right, what is up guys? Jared Campisi with the beautiful Christina K. Welcome back to the channel. Today is exciting because we're gonna be doing the first mod for my new Audi R8 V10 Plus. I'm tired, I'm excited. Let's get this video started. First thing to do in the morning, cold start, V10. Wake up all the neighbors. Sorry guys. start a Casina C8 Corvette. I'm not even sure if we're gonna be able to hear it because mine's so loud. <laughs> but those two extra cylinders are just, they're just, they're flexing on you, teams. They're flexing on you. That V8's pretty good. Okay, let's get out of here. So as I mentioned, we're heading down to Santa Barbara Tint Designs to get the car's windows tinted. Um, in Southern California, it's sunny as hell. And with this being a black interior, it gets very hot in here. So tint is an absolute must. Oh, God. Everyone's telling me to put an exhaust in this car. And at first I was like all about the exhaust too. But to be honest guys, it sounds really, really good in stock form. If I put the windows down just a little bit here, put them in performance mode. Listen to these downshifts. Let me know what you guys think. When it comes to an exhaust, like uh, my favorite is the Capristo system, um, but I do want it to hook up to the factory valves. I want all of the stock buttons to work um, because if you look on the steering wheel here, um, I do have an exhaust button. So when I press this button, it closes it so you get standard sound. When I open it, the valves are open. So I don't like having an external like button controller thing to use. And I also have, cause I'm in the V10 plus mode, I have performance mode which makes it even louder, um, but I can't shift right now, so let's turn that off. So yeah, I don't know, I'm still, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Should I put an exhaust on this or should I not? Check it out guys, had a uh, cut, uh, fellow Ducatisti pull up, he's on a uh, Ducati, yeah, monster, diesel edition, that thing's sick, dude. Wow, that thing sounds good. Last air cooled 1100. All right, we have arrived at SB Tint Designs to see Hector. And today, as I mentioned, we're gonna be tinting the windows. So Hector is the one that does all of our work for us. Uh, I'm working on a custom design wrap with my buddy, uh, Gregorescu. <laughs> so that will be coming in the future as well. But for today, um, I think we're gonna be doing 50% on the front and rear and then 30% on the sides. Um, so I didn't want to go super dark on here because I want you to still be able to see that gorgeous Lamborghini V10 engine. Um, You're doing what, you did, what we did to my car. Right? Yeah, so it's the exact same thing as this over here. So, except you didn't tint the back of yours, right? No, because I don't know it was already yeah. dark. This is already pretty dark for hers. You can almost, that's kind of how and mine. it's like a small window, so it's already hard enough yeah. to like look over and see. That's one of the coolest I parts. I am with yours. Yours is a big window. Exactly. You can see the engine. Mine's a little hidden. Everything's bigger with Camp Easy. Okay. <laughs> okay. She did 35 on her windows. I think 30 would be the sweet spot. Um, oh. You can still see in just a little bit too okay. much. Oh, hey, okay. you can make your own decisions. Oh, okay. And then that's 50% wow. on the front. Oh, he's got to up one me, right? <laughs> up one me. And that's the custom wrap that Hector did as well. If you guys are in Southern California and you want a beautiful custom wrap that's absolutely flawless, Hector's the guy. I will put his link uh, in the description the below. I was at gas station yesterday and a guy next to me is like, I have a 2002 Z06, I'm just swapping the engine casually. Yeah. And he goes, I opened the door and he's like, oh, that's wrapped? And I was like, yeah. yeah. He's like, I could not even tell. Yeah, it's yeah, freaking badass. Pretty phenomenal job. Yeah, it's awesome. It's, and that's why awesome. we use them. Mm -hmm. So actually, Hector said if they went 30 on the size, they'd have to use a different film that's not as good. So we're just going to stick with 35. It'll just match Christina's. And then I forgot to mention, he's going to black out my marker lights too. We'll not black them out and put a tint over them so that they'll still work, but they won't be like not matching the car. Getting back in this thing is... <laughs> it's a little bit different. I feel like I'm sitting in a tub or something. Hey, it's it's comfortable. No, it is really not. I actually really like this interior. That Having the screens like that is pretty futuristic. By the way, there's a cop right there. Don't mind us. Did you scrape? No. Oh, good. I think we're good. It sounded like an engine. Give him a thumbs up. <laughs> didn't even, not even paying didn't attention. Even care. <laughs> so now we get to wait for the car to be done. I think we're going to go to the gym. 
Look at the kitty cat. Look at the baby. You can't even look see him. He's so dark. so dark. Hold on. There he is. Look at him. Look at him. You know that's racist towards him. He's I so beautiful. Him. It's because he's black. Look how beautiful he is. He looks like a puma. He's very exotic, this guy. And he owns a house. He he's does. He's like too good for he us. He walks around like he owns the place. Look at he him. He does perimeter Hi, checks. He's like our security guard. Look at him. <laughs> he's so awesome. There's Oro. <laughs> we call him Monkey Man because he makes monkey sounds. He goes, you want to make some monkey sounds, bud? Look at him, he's had He's it. a little troublemaker, that's he what he is. is. He gets into everything. Non-stop, doing weird stuff. <laughs> Meanwhile, this guy's in the tub for some reason, <laughs> waiting for the <laughs> water to be turned on, and then when it is turned on, they he freak runs. out and run. Weirdest, look at him. He's trying to turn it on now. How do I turn this on? Huh? Oh my gosh, get it, Desi. Freaking weirdos. <laughs> Desmond was just putting his paw in it. He's like, where, does it, where is this coming from? It's just coming out of the wall. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh. Why? They like for some reason they like to drink from moving water. Look, now he's licking his hands. Freaking idiot. But God forbid you try to wipe their paws with <laughs> water and they freak out. <laughs> Meanwhile, we went down to Krispy Kremes yesterday. Teens bought nine dozen donuts, if you can believe that. That's just some of the ones right there. Don't have any proof. We put them in. Look at these things. She got mini ones. Oh my god. No joke, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> this is gonna be our breakfast. Oh. Don't judge us. We're gonna go to the gym. So We're gonna go to the gym good. right after. What's in mouth. here? What's in this one? Krispy Kreme. Oh, sorry. Those are actual donuts. If you're watching difference. our videos, please sponsor Christina. Oh my god, so good. Please, please sponsor. Her. So good. All right, we've arrived at the gym. Fitness 19. Gotta put some masks on to get in, then we can take them off, which is just like the dumbest thing ever, but okay. Um, also, you guys gotta let me know if you enjoy um, more like vloggy day-to-day -day stuff in the car stuff. That was kind of why I wanted to get into cars. And, well, because I love them, but also because I can share more of like our day-to-day -day lives. So let me know in the comment section below if you enjoy seeing more of our day-to-day -day lives or if you just want car stuff. I feel like it breaks it up, keeps it a little bit more interesting, uh, but let me know. So there you go, guys. Back and biceps complete. Let me see the biceps, Alex. He's catching up to me, guys. Wait, wait. Oh, this one. What's going on? I can't even touch my shoulder. <laughs> but just Sorry. barely. Um, if you guys want to try out my workouts, if you click on my YouTube channel um, and scroll down through the playlist, I have an entire lifting playlist. You guys can try them out. Just like everything's listed on there. I take you guys through it, explain why I'm doing it, everything like that. So there you go. Now we can go relax and wait for the car, wait for the call to check out the car. Okay, so we just got the call that the car is done. Teens actually had to take over our rogue to her parents' house because she's getting her dad's car detailed for Father's Day and also our rogue as well. And actually we're getting our cars detailed tomorrow. So I get to drive this thing, which I haven't driven in a while, so this should be fun. One thing that I found interesting about the R8 is it doesn't have memory seats. So in this one you have one and two. I just press two. It, sets the mirror, the seat, the steering wheel, everything uh, for my uh, setting. And then I don't have to get in and adjust everything every time. And I gotta say, this cockpit is pretty damn amazing, but does not have the performance of the R8. All right, we have arrived back at SB Tint Designs and actually uh, Hector is gonna take this into the shop real quick and touch up a little spot on the wrap on the back of the car. But this is all about the Audi R8. And let's take a look at that. Wow. That good. makes such a good, uh, such a big difference. Dude, that looks incredible. It was way too hot, man. It was like a fishbowl on this thing before. Hector, that looks amazing. So yeah, once again, 35% on the sides, 50 on the front and back. And then Hector just mentioned that um, a lot of people don't tint this back window because obviously you tint the inside of the window and this motor gets really hot. So a lot of heat radiates onto the onto the wrap or onto the tint. So we'll see how long this lasts. God, that car sounds good. good. Holy good. shit. Um, so yeah, we'll see how long that lasts, but man, it looks good. Let's see how, how it is on the inside now. Oh, look at that. I love it. It's like just enough. We found that like this is kind of like sweet spot where the cops don't really bother you because they can still see in. See, it's the same thing. Like, you can still see Hector. You can still see there's a person in there. Uh-huh, exactly. Damn, he's good, dude. Yeah, that's, that's why him. I didn't want to do it. That's that's not easy. Look at him. It's not it's, even using the camera. It's not even a car that he drives, you know? Look at that. Um, let's see how it feels in here. Oh, Yeah, see, this is sitting outside and it's way better. Now it's not so freaking hot in here. 
Oh, I love it. And on from the inside, it's totally, you don't even notice it really. So, freaking love it. Oh, I missed my baby. All right, so while Hector uh, touches up Teen's wrap, we were looking at um, ideas for mine, colors, really. I already kind of have an idea. That's Actually, mine. yeah, there's her satin, satin smoldering, smoldering red. red. Just one idea of something that I found that I really like. So uh, I think that is a, actually a satin black. And then it has just like trim. Obviously I would, I'm gonna do blue as my accent. I probably wouldn't do stuff over the top of the car. But just to give you some sort of an idea, look at how cool that looks, guys. Oh, it looks so badass. So what I'm thinking is something like this, and actually my buddy is designing, he's gonna do like a whole custom design for me, but kind of based on that. I like the satin blue a lot. What is it, satin perfect blue? So that's what it looks like. So I would have satin black, just like hers, and then I would do blue as my accent color. Dude, that's incredible. That's a beautiful color. It's a nice blue. I really like that. I think By that would ocean. look so good together. Man, I almost want to just do the whole car in blue. <laughs> Where's my red? Your satin smoldering red. So that's how, yeah, there you go. Those are those are some nice colors together right there. Mm -hmm. So then she'd have her car all, all satin black, and then mine would be all satin black with blue and hers would be with red. So, what do you think? I think that could be really nice together. I love the blue. That's yeah, that's color. sick, okay. I got my baby back, baby back, baby back. All right, let's get out of here. So we're gonna head back to Teen's family's house. Alex wants to see the um, tint and hopefully it's not super dark in here because actually it looks like it's pretty good. Yeah, that's the one thing about making it too dark inside when you're trying to film on YouTube and stuff. It can make the content really dark and then it'll get like grainy, the footage and stuff, but I think it actually looks pretty good looking from the footage on the camera, but oh God, I miss this car. Just, just having it gone for half a day is like, it's too much for me. I've done, you know, all these mods on motorcycles and we did our Z06 car that we gave away and then of course Christina's car. I finally have something that's mine, so it just feels good, man, to finally do some mods on my own car and I can do what I want. Obviously, I still love getting feedback from you guys, but it feels good, man. It feels really good. Okay, so cars are getting washed. There's been a change of plans. They have extra people today, so they're actually gonna detail ours as well, so that'll be cool to show the process and uh, I'll be sure to shout them out. Again, if you guys want any site, any like tint work done, wrap stuff, uh, Hector at SB Tint Designs, highly, highly recommend him. We're in Santa Barbara, California, but pretty much anywhere in the Southern California area. Really good guy to go to. He does just premium, premium work. I mean, look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the next question is, um, I was talking to my painter and he said he could paint these wheels for me. I want glossy black wheels. Um, I just, it's, it seems like a shame to kind of paint over this. And then, um, so I either would paint these glossy black or I would get a set of forged wheels, maybe from like Brixton or um, HRE or something like that. And then they can also do, I think I'm gonna paint my calipers blue, uh, the same blue that would be the accent on the car. So I'm thinking blue calipers, black wheels, and then I might even paint this blue, uh, just the, anything silver here. And then I wanna get your opinion um, for all the badges, like here, and there, and there's some on the back. Um, should I make those uh, glossy black, or should I paint them blue to match? Uh, that's the next question. And then actually, I think I'm gonna paint this entire grill black too. And like all of this, all of this should be just blacked out. I think that would look a lot better, a lot more new. I think that like the glossy coloring and stuff is kind of like, you know, 2015. So I think that'll bring the car and make it look a lot newer. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Okay, so the first two cars are done. Look at how incredible this looks. Oh my god, it's like a brand new car. It looks... I've had this for a year and a half and never cleaned it once and it was just Oh my was gosh, it's amazing. Someone's been putting his feet up here, I see, while I'm driving. <laughs> That's... It? Good thing it's a lease, right? Yeah, exactly. But look at that, man, the rims and everything. Yeah, and then her good. pop's car. I said, I didn't even know it was this color. <laughs> <laughs> and nice you, you never washed it, huh? It's incredible. It looks like a brand new car. Look at that. Yeah, it's clean. So there no you go. Dad, no For Father's spiders. Day. Living in Look at him. <laughs> I love it. Okay, now the two beasts are going to get done. And the first thing they're going to do is foam them. So I'll show you guys a little before. And then I'll show you what they look like after too. 
So if you guys are in Santa Barbara and you need some car detailing done, these guys are amazing. They work really efficiently. They're easy to work with. Um, and it's actually very affordable as well. So shout out to them. Always trying to support local uh, businesses, especially small businesses in times like these. So uh, hit them up if you want your cars done. This is a little shot of the before. Uh, we actually did wash them yesterday, so they're not like super dirty, but the inside we haven't cleaned yet. So it's gonna look a lot better. I'm excited. Look at that. I always loved it. There's something so, like, I don't know. It makes my OCD very happy. <laughs> Look at it. That is sexy right there, boys. All right, they're balls deep into the cleaning now. It looks really cool, the cars with the, uh, everything opened up. It's pretty badass. No, Teens, you should've been doing this. You should've been helping them in a bikini. Next time. That would have got a lot more views. Once it gets dirty, you can wash it next time in a bikini. Okay. Thumbs so up the video for that, guys. <laughs> Look at how awesome this thing looks. Got the back opened up. They wiped down all the carbon back here. Yeah, it's cool, right? You know what's and it, nice about yours compared to mine is water doesn't get into. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like I have to clean all my it's this part fiber. here, and then you can't really see it. Like yeah. that's. Yeah. My carbon fiber gets destroyed. I know. Plus, I have a lot more carbon. It's a lot nicer looking oh. than yours. Look, dude, that whole piece back there is carbon. Look oh at that. God. Let's take a look at hers. That's not even close, seems. This looks like a little baby motor. Look at your little cute baby motor. Okay. There you have it, folks. Teens, if you're riding his scooter, that means you got to give him a ride in the Corvette. Cool. Did you already do that? Did I? I took. Uh, no. Oh, I took him in mine. You know, someone was filming us when we drove by. You can have it. It's hilarious. <laughs> oh, wow. That's messed up. You just ruined his hopes and dreams. You're a terrible person. All right, the cars are done. He's finishing something off on the inside of mine, but man, I don't think they've ever looked this good. Right? Since maybe when Hector did the wrap, maybe? But look at, look at how good the wheels look. Oh my gosh. Are you taking a photo? Sorry, I'm gonna move in front of your photo. But yeah, that is, God, I can't wait to wrap mine black. It's gonna look so much better. I do like the white, but the white looks really good when it's clean, but it's gonna look a lot better when it's wrapped. Look, they even do the wheels, the rims, all oh, the carbon ceramics, just looking juicy. So yeah, that's awesome. Shout out to the uh, Nova Spa here in Santa Barbara. If you guys need cars clean, detailed, these are your guys to do it. Now, it's time to go get some food. All right, we arrived downtown, got a primo spot. We're actually gonna go to California Pizza Kitchen. Also, I wanna show you guys one of my favorite parts about this car. I think all Audis have this, but listen to the sound it makes when you lock it. Oh, I love it. And all the things light up and everything. I just sit in my house and lock the car all the time, just cause it sounds so good. Also, for people who tell me to lower this car, Alex had to crawl out of here because look at how close that is to hitting the curb. I mean, if I lowered this car at all, it would literally scrape, so no, not lowering this thing. All right, starting off the meal with my signature Moscow Mule. I have to spend $5,000 a year on Moscow Mules or I lose my sponsorship with them. <laughs> we also got spinach artichoke dip uh, with some bread and then teens get oil and vinegar. And then I also asked for a seat where I could see my car. I don't know if you guys can see it out there. God, somebody must be really sexy that drives that thing. All right, dinner has arrived. I got chicken piccata. Surprisingly, Alex got the same thing. And then uh, teens and the twins got, what is this? Barbecue chicken chop salad. Barbecue chicken chop salad. Why did you say it like that? I don't know. <laughs> it looks really good. It's so better than yours. We're gonna eat this and then we drive. All right, dinner is done, and that's gonna conclude this video. Got the car tinted, uh, wrap colors chosen, and the wrap design is still happening, but it's gonna be a work in progress. I think we'll probably do wheels next, and then calipers, some other stuff, but yeah, that's gonna do it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll see you all in the next one. Also, one last shot of the Starkmobile. Oh! The whole thing was blurry. Still blurry, there it is, perfect. See you guys.